this problem. The first thing I need to do is circle the units that we're going to use in our proportion. And so we hiked, hiked in miles, and then we have hours. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up my first ratio. And so I'm going to put height in miles, and then I'm going to place that over hours. Okay. And then I'm going to do equals, and I'm going to set up. Uh, let's first fill in our units now. We have 10 miles in 4 hours. I then set up my next fraction, height, miles. And I'm going to set that over hours just like before. So it should look identical, height, miles, height, miles, hours, and hours. And then I'm going to plug in the units I have. I have 18 hours and I'm going to find X, which will be uh, how many miles I will hike in 18 hours. So I then do a cross product, 10. I'm going to cross product like this. 10 times 18 is 180 is equal to X times 4 for X. Now to isolate the X, I divide each side by 4. So this becomes x is equal to 180 divided by 4, and 180 divided by 4 is 45. So let's put in our unit of measure, he height 45 miles. Now to check our work, let's quickly put it into a cross product. So we have 10 over 4 is equal to 45 over 18, and 10 times, 180, 10 times 18 is 180. 45 times 4, let me check my work there, 40 times by 4 is also 180, so this solution is correct. Okay, this last step, I'm just checking to make sure my answer is right. 10 times 18, 180, 44, 5 times 4 is 180. Okay, let's look at the next sample problem and do the same. Okay, recipe calls for 2.5 cups of sugar, so I'm going to do cups of sugar to make 12 cookies. How much sugar is needed to make 30 cookies? So I'm going to do cups of sugar over cookies. And then I'm going to fill in the blanks. I've got 12 cookies and 2.5 cups equals. I set up another fraction the same way. I'm going to shorten this. I'm going to put sugar over cookies. Okay. And then I just fill in what information is given, and it says 30 cookies. So I'm going to write a 30 here, and that will be x. I then cross multiply. x times 12 will be 12. x is equal to 2.5 times 30. And 2.5 times 30 is equal to 75. So I'm going to rewrite this. 12x is equal to 75. Okay? Let me check that work. 2.5 times 30. Yes, 75. And then now I'll, all I do is divide each side by 12. So x, and I'm going to move this over here. x is equal to 75 divided by 12. And 75 divided by 12 is 6.25 cups of sugar. Okay. Now I will check my work. I will... 2.5 over 12 is equal to 6.25 over 30. 30 times 2.5 is 30 times 2.5 is 75. 30 times 2.5 is 75. And 12 times 6.25 is 75 also. Let me double check that. But I know that is correct. 75 also. Okay, and finally, our last one, oops, that's the same thing. Last one, let's go through this. 16 necklaces, okay, necklaces, okay, necklaces and cost. Okay, so I'm going to do necklaces over cost is equal to, I have 16 necklaces, cost $40. I'm going to set up a fraction the same way. That's the next step. Over cost, I'm going to fill in what I have. I have 
12 necklaces and I need to know what the cost is. Okay, I cross multiply 16x cross multiply 16x is equal to 12 times 40 and 12 times 40 is equal to 480. 12 times 40 is equal to 480. So I will write 480, divide each side by 16 in order to solve. So x is equal to 480 divided by 16, and 480 divided by 16 is 30. So that will be, it costs 30. Uh, the cost will just, it doesn't have a, it's just 30 cost is equal to x. Because I didn't have if it's in dollars or hundred dollars or whatever. Okay, I then will check my work. Sorry, you can't see that. I will check my work. And so I have uh, 16 over 40 is equal to 12 over 30. 30 times 16 is equal to 480. And 40 times 12 is 40, 80 also. Okay, so to recap, what you do is you take, you circle your units, step one, set up a fraction with your two units that you are looking for, necklaces and cost. Plug in the units you have, plug in the units, other unit you have, and then solve for x. Okay, hope that helped in solving proportion word problems. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.